well, first of all, welcome Al and Sai. Can you hear me? Uh, Hello, yes, Roberto. Uh, Roberto. Yes, very clearly. Excellent. Thank you. I can see you and hear you well. Great. I know it's getting really late in Malaysia, so I, I need to say that we really thank you for st staying up that late. It's probably, I don't know, two in the morning for you. So thank you for participating in this symposium today. It's a very important session, the one we're going to have today with Petronas, because they bring their vision for the project management of the future. They will take us through that story and how Petronas has actually set that vision and how they have identified project production management in, in, as part of that vision and also as, a, as an enabler of modernization. So, but before we get going, let me, let me introduce Al in, and Sai. So Al Azahari is currently leading the a team to drive transformation in Petronas Group Project Delivery. He has 17 years of work, working experience in the oil and gas and petrochemical industry. He, has, he was involved in plan operations and maintenance before assuming a project manager role overseeing various plan change and rejuvenation projects. He's currently spearheading project production management implementation <coughs> within Petronas projects and also playing the role to shape Malaysia's oil and gas industry players to adopt the methodology for improved project delivery performance. This is, by the way, Al, a very important point. Maybe you can expand later on in your presentation what you're doing with, with the local uh, industry there. Al holds a bachelor degree in electronics engineering and a master's degree in process plan management from the University of Technology in Malaysia. Welcome. Also, please allow me to introduce uh, Saeed Ab Razak bin Saeed Ali, Said is currently principal for construction and decommissioning delivery at Petronas. He has almost 30 years uh, of experience in construction management in various sectors, including oil and gas, refinery, petrochemicals, and power plants. He joined Petronas <clears throat> about 20 years ago, in 20 during a joint venture with Dow Chemicals, focusing on construction maintenance and operation. He has had uh, numerous involvement in the construction industry, contractor, subcontractor, and third party. And he has a diploma in marine engineering from Unku Omar Polytechnic University in Malaysia. Once again, welcome to both of you. And that being said, I'm going to stop sharing my screen so you can share yours. Over to you. Thank you, Roberto. And uh, so far, you can uh, hear me clearly, Roberto? Uh, we can hear you very well, Sai. Thank okay. you. Okay. And Thanks, we can see the content as well. Okay. I, I, I wish we had a good afternoon to all the, the respected delegate or participant to PPI Annual Symposium 2021 from around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Sai Abdul Razak. I'm a principal construction from Petronas, which is based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And proud to announce together with me to share our experience entitled PPN journey in Petronas is my partner, Mr. Al Azahari, which uh, hold a position as, as a head of construction based engineering in the, the Petronas project management of the future departments. Can you move to the next slide, Al? All right. Okay. Thank you, Al. You might know us through the F1 race, and we are proud to be associated with the winning team. Beside that, the desire to continuously improve, improve as applied in the Formula One race, actually also being a culture in our project delivery effort. Although we can see a quite good outcome from our IPA benchmarking exercise, but yet we are still concerned with the fact that somehow our project 
still facing delay, which we need management intervention, a deep dive, a rescue, which lead to the catch up plans for recovery. And especially in a major capital project, then made the condition worse. Recently, we have a COVID-19 pandemic. Like others, we also face with an unprecedented challenge to manage the, the detrimental impact to our project execution. And to us, keep on finding the best solution and recipe towards sustainable project delivery performance. And to put the explain our specific effort that lead to our project production management journey in Petronas, I would like to hand over to my partner, Al Azhari, for the next slide presentation. Over that to you, Al. The stage is yours. Thank you very much, Tai. Thank you, Roberto. And very honored to be with the audience in this symposium today and i will start with sharing on the project management of the future as part of our transformation transformation effort in petronas in our group project delivery we initiated the project management of the future initiative just recently starting uh, last year and it consists of four transformative areas four parts to cover improvement in First, digital ecosystem. Second, on execution methodology. The third, on utilization of smart devices and on looking for other breakthrough solutions within project delivery space. But the core engine of the transformation is the construction-based engineering, which focusing on process improvement with enabling technologies to support the improvement. All right, and we have strategically selected two of industry best practice methodologies to be implemented and focused to be for, for adoption, which is the first the AWP advanced work packaging and second the project production management PPM. All right, I'm going to share a little bit more on our re reflections on our 12 months PPM journey and outlook moving forward. We began our journey in PPM about just about a year ago after the finalization of the PIM of Blue Blueprint. At first, we collaborated with uh, McKinsey in the, in, in the early stage for initial capability building session, which involved key project leaders and executives, and we built up the momentum from there. And as we focus the plan towards actual PPM, PPM implementation in pilot projects, we acknowledge the importance of synchronization between first the solution providers, second, our partners and our contractors, and third, our own internal P project management team as owner operators working together in the effort to ensure a successful implementation that really deliver value Right. And therefore, with that intent, we established a joint industry collaboration, which we kicked off much earlier, uh, about in June this year, and involved our partners, uh, our contractors, as long as also our solution providers to shape the industry players towards adoption of PPM. And in uh, quarter three, we, we, we start to engage strategic project solutions, SPS, for proof of concept implementation in projects. We started, uh, since then, we started our steep learning curve and now still in active concurrent implementation of PPM in various projects. We are still exploring PPM through this exercise. We're learning by doing and improve our understanding on the method, methodology 
while assessing the opportunity to scale up the adoption to wider project scopes. All right, instead of focusing on few specific projects for pilot implementation, we have selected a slightly more challenging route. We are currently deploying our PPM proof of concept in multiple projects concurrently. Therefore, more effort is required to engage each PMT with its unique characteristic. Yeah, projects in uh, different projects in terms of ge geographical, some projects in offshore, some in onshore, there are upstream and downstream projects involved some in downstream or uh, some greenfield and some brownfield as well as some major and minor projects and minor capex right and implementation is focused to selected activities and milestone with each proof of concept projects focusing on various phases for ppm either within basic or detailed engineering design in construction as well as commissioning phases and due to COVID-19 logistic challenge, as of now, the technical support from our solution provider SPS is fully done remotely. Although the PMTs definitely prefer to have physical support at project site, that would further improve uh, the effectiveness of the PPM deployment. Although we are still pretty much in the middle of the PPM proof of concept implementation, we could already see positive impacts in the uh, few projects involved. We have seen specific milestone in the project able to be completed ahead of schedule. Although not much, about six days ahead of schedule, but, but considering the, the short implementation of specific milestone at the critical final part of the project, it is still considered as a a magnificent achievement right and for some other projects feedbacks we received was that project teams could appreciate the benefit they got from pso and ppc application the clarity gained on overall production system enable the team to align detail detail plan, detail plan properly proactively mitigate issues before it happens and even in recovery mode, the insights are useful to indicate whether the situations get better or getting much worse so that the right action could be taken properly to improve it. Definitely to introduce something new and challenge, challenging the norm is not so easy. So in our PPM journey in Petronas, these are three of the most significant challenges we experienced so far. First challenge on data gathering to map and model the production system. What we experience is that this requires a lot of effort and time consuming. Data availability and accuracy to be included in the model is, an, is one matter to be, to be uh, of concern as well, especially when engineering and construction planning is still at early stage. Maybe it is desirable if we could develop the model based on established template instead of building from scratch. Maybe we could explore possibility to collaborate with PPM community, PPM, other PPM practitioners to share and exchange data on production system model and standard processes for mutual benefit in PPM adoption. The second challenge on knowledge and capability to understand new terminologies and, and difficulty to shift project team's perspective from the current conventional methodology mindset. And we believe a more interactive training and education material is required to facilitate awareness and understanding on PPM methodology. And we are also working towards improving on this in this in this area by creating a more awareness material that is easy to understand by our project fraternities. And the third challenge, and this is considered a given challenge for any transformation effort, is commitment by project team and their reception to embrace the change. And for this, we believe a deeper look on change management approach 
need to be considered for effective deployment of PPM solution in any projects. And we are actually trying to craft us a finding a, 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 the best recipe for us to ensure to, to minimize the, the resistance from a, a project for adoption of PPM. So I've covered my part on my uh, on our PPM journey. So now I pass back to you for our conclusion and take away so far. Over to you, Zay. Thank you, Al. Thank you, Al, uh, for covering on the journey. And I would say it's a very comprehensive explanation, briefing. And of course, when we, we talk about journey, we don't forget the challenges in our PPM implementation on POC. Okay. Referring to the place, proof or concept, there a question. There is a question whether the PPM concept really proven. So through the, our journey, we have three verdicts as our conclusion for this question. Okay, the first one, we say that PPM enable new and detailed insight that previously unable to be assessed with the conventional method. Here, we observe that a variable insight generated from the PPM analytic are leading indicators of the project happiness, such as a dynamic resource planning adequacy, team individual commitment reliability, optimum work in process level, and as well sources of the variability. Okay, all right. The next slide. So on the second word, <clears throat> viewing project exploration system bring a crystal, I always say crystal clear line of sight on workflow and interfaces. And how we get into this is through First is identify and map standard work and capture in SPS solution. Develop production schedule that integrate multiple standard processes, including crew and equipment allocations. Uh, minimize variability and reduce work in process through a daily production planning. planning. And last, improve work execution through the production based analytics. Okay, on our next verdicts. Understanding interrelationship of various elements in PPM enable predictive and prescriptive insight to recover and improve project delivery performance. For example, in the true case, at a certain stage, we may not be able to change on product design anymore, but but there's still there is still an opportunity in plan and control at process design. Do more with the limited resources, control the VIP in order to improve cycle time, and lastly, detect and eliminate the source of the variabilities. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's all from us who are re relatively new in this PPM implementation. We are truly honored to be given this opportunity to share our journey experience in this symposium and, and looking forward to learn from other ISTE members and as well PPM practitioners around the globe. Let's drive to a modern construction. Thank you very much. And Roberto, as we say in Malay, terima kasih. Okay, what does it mean? Thank you. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> learning something. Thank you so much to both of you. Very impressive. And, and I think we have 10 minutes, so we're gonna go through some questions. And if we have people from the audience with a specific questions for our friends from Petronas, please feel free to use the Q&A. 
but but maybe maybe a few things to to highlight al and and side so the first one is it's about the project management of the future right and the first question is so can you elaborate a bit more you know what has been the main driver behind petronas establishing this vision because you as a company you are moving somewhere right you have already set direction and you are also working with the local construction industry in malaysia to to be involved in your vision so so you can actually establish a, a working partnership to become better right so can you please say more about the 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 main drivers behind your project management of the future in Petronas, we introduce the the aspiration of moving forward together MFT 5030. Apart from achieving net zero carbon by 2050, we, we have ambitious target to, to reach to, to, to achieve 50% improvement in terms of um, cash generation within five years, right? And 30% improvement in terms of non-traditional uh, revenue stream. So we are expecting a lot more projects going on and definitely with current method of project delivery, right? And the unsustainable practice of, of project execution, right? We foresee that we we, we it, it it is not we are we won't be able to achieve our aspiration with current way of working. That's why the management embark on project management of the future, focusing on what how others are doing, what is the best practice or, or, or best practices in, in global methodologies, not only on focusing on digitalization or utilizing the fancy technologies, but we need to also ensure that the methodology is correct for us to and, and using technology to enable the, the right methodology. So that, that is pretty much the, the background on uh, project management of the future. Thank you so much, uh, Al. We do have a couple of questions here that I'm going to connect these two questions purposely because they are certainly related. So bear with me on this. So one of the questions is, what role are the most senior executives at Petronas playing in driving this proof of concept effort, right? So there's a question about the senior executive. There's another question about how do you get Petronas management and middle managers to accept testing project production management? What motivated them to make a change to project production management? As you can see, these two questions are a bit different, mm -hmm. but very related. So what, what can you say about that? Thank you for, for the question. Uh, very good question. And regarding the top management involvement or, or, or role in this project production management or uh, transformation journey, for example, in, in the joint industry collaboration, our vice president actually play, play the, 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 the critical role of, of getting the industry to, to be together with us, right? The, to, to, to be, to influence the, the other uh, colleagues of top management from, from our partners, our contractors, as well as solution, solution providers. And um, also championing the, the program inside internally within Petronas, right? So the, the, the uh, role of championing the effort is very critical and, and still with, with our, our current setup, the role of 
vice president and, and the top leadership to to drive the the other project leaders right at project director level or project manager level to embrace the change is very much crucial because the tendency is that project teams tend to 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 prefer to to do uh, things the way they do right and trying something new is not something that is preferable because of their current commitment with with project as well right right but because of 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 the 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 drive by the top leaders then this gets moving and we hope to to build the momentum through education and capability building as well excellent so there's a clear support from the top management on the direction and setting the vision for project management of the future that you have multiple components right there are a couple of questions i believe two or three questions related to let me read one of them because i think the other the other two are sort of similar it says one of your slides you show ppm and awp did you look into both did you select one or both so it seems that there's another question associated with that as well you know any conflicts between ppm and awp so perhaps you can expand a bit more about it actually we are also exploring both methodologies right as of now we have yet to to implement both in any projects but we have we implement we try to implement different methodologies at different projects or maybe sarah can can explain further yeah yeah i think to me if i can answer that correctly between the awp and ppn through that our experience both are complement each other so on the LP is about about we packaging that the the project itself and on the, the ppm is another methodology which we focus on the, the productivity so i mean we, we need we, we to me be honored we need to appreciate both methodology okay and at the moment we are still in the midst of exploring both energy and could be we're going to hybrid that <laughs> i think depends on what the the, the 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 outcome that after we complete this exercise excellent so thank you thank you for your answers to these questions and one thing that at least to me is clear is that you mentioned this you, you just started that journey right and there's there's many more things to come and we certainly welcome your participation in future symposiums and events so you can continue sharing what you're doing what you're getting out of that and and how that contributes to changing the way petronas delivers capital projects and also by doing that how you influence the industry locally and also internationally because you you do use service providers that are global companies right and uh, there was actually one question here which is uh, an interesting one and maybe you can say very very quickly right 30 seconds um, what did you learn from the formula one experience and what you are bringing to your project This, this kind of problem. Huh? Uh, if I can answer Allah and Roberto. Very quickly. The way how we, yeah, yeah the, the, the way how we improve at the pit stop. I believe that the, 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 the most, I mean, time consuming, we, shall, we, 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 can, we can improve a lot. So this one here, we can also apply a lean and, so, uh, and as well the, the continu continuous improvement. So which area, and then we see that focus at the pit stop, it give, it give uh, 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 a lot of benefit to the whole of the, the, the race. One, okay. just one, one small portion. 
Okay. For me, for me, it is simple. It is, it, it is, it is the same. It is production system, right? In Formula One or in the projects, it is viewing it as a project production system, and we can, once we really understand the the, the production system, there are the, all the, the the opportunities for us to improve. All right. Thank you, brother. Excellent. So, so basically, looking at the pit stop is the inspiration and looking at that as a production system that's that's great that has a lot of similarities also with what we heard from Hess on the previous presentation so conscious of time it got we got to the time so thank you very much Alan and, and Said for your participation and your story very impressive and really all uh, wish you guys luck on on the journey that continues right it's just the beginning so thank you once thank you yeah Thank you. Really appreciate it on behalf of PTI.